Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another autograph success video. Aside from the autographs, I have a few other things I want to share with you guys too. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So my autograph success come from author Veronica Roth. I sent to her uh, almost a month ago now. And I actually got this back pretty fast. I did get the cards back about five days after I sent them. But uh, my camera wasn't working then, so I didn't post the video. But here you have them. I didn't send these to her fan mail address. I sent them to an event that she was having in Georgia at a bookstore. And I sent her the number one card from the base set. Well, the only set. And number 71. And I had... The intention was for her to sign the front part of the card. This is one of the puzzle pieces. But she just signed on the lightest side because she was signing in Sharpies. So I was really happy to get those back because I've heard that she's not really good with fan mail. Along with that, she was really nice and she sent me this little bookmark. Nothing too special, it's just a bookmark from the store, from the bookstore she was having the event at. Then, oh, where'd I put it? I also got this, which I know you guys are probably familiar with it by now. It's just the Four A Divergent Collection, just a bunch of short stories about four. But this one is autographed. And I didn't send it to her, so I don't think that I, I mailed this to her. I actually got it, per, I purchased it already autographed. And the way I did that was I pre-ordered it through Barnes & Noble. They had the deal that if you pre-ordered with them, you could get a autograph, an autographed copy of the book. So I got that. And then what I was really excited about was, I don't know how many of you guys knew, but over the weekend... Well, I mean, unless you were in San Diego and you went to the Comic-Con, they were going to go ahead and release the trailer for Mockingjay, and, you know, they always have a special pin that they give at the San Diego Comic-Con and posters and all that. Well, I couldn't go to San Diego Comic-Con, but I was really excited to see the trailer, and so I went to Best Buy, which was showing the trailer at certain stores. I think all the stores in my area, though, were, were having this event at the Samsung Mobile stations. So I went... And I saw the trailer and I absolutely loved it. And then to my surprise, I didn't know this, they gave me some freebies. Not that I was expecting any, but I got the pin. And I got this, which is actually Fandango Cash. So essentially, I got a free movie ticket. And I got... I'm not going to unroll it because I have my mine and my husband's rolled up together. But it's the Mockingjay poster, and I couldn't believe it. I was feeling so bummed out because I really wanted to go to the San Diego Comic Con this year. Obviously for the Mockingjay stuff that was going on there, but also because I wanted to get the items that they give out. And I couldn't believe that I was able to get the same pin that they were giving out at the San Diego Comic Con. So that's it for the video. For this stuff, there was one last thing that I wanted to kind of share with you guys. Nothing that's incredibly important, but it's about another autograph that I had shared with you guys when I first started making videos. It was one that I showed you um, when I shared my uh, Hunger Games cards, diver uh, drink cards, and Catching Fire cards. I showed you this card. And for those of you who have seen my videos or who are already subscribed, it's going to be familiar to you. It's a Stanley Tucci autographed card. Uh, turns out that this card is, well, not the card, but that the autograph is fake. And not to say that the address that I sent it to is fake. It's just that Stanley Tucci, I guess, has gotten so popular and so busy that he doesn't have time to look through all the fan mail that he gets and he has someone in his office whether it's an assistant or a secretary or whatever signing on his behalf and i had no idea until someone pointed it out to me and it and at first i didn't want to believe it but it was kind of strange that i sent it to him and i got it back in a week and so i did a little bit of homework and i compared this signature to one that i found online that i know for a fact is his and this doesn't look anything like his so if you haven't sent to him yet and you were thinking about it don't waste your time don't waste envelopes stamps, items that are just going to basically be ruined with a fake autograph. If you do want to try to get an auto his autograph, you're going to have to wait to either meet him in person or send to him via venue, meaning to a movie set when he's filming. But 
yeah not to the address it's on fan mailed up is same thing with jennifer lawrence i'm sorry to say i, I don't know if any of you guys have sent to her to that Kentucky address but you're getting fakes she has people signing on her behalf she doesn't sign anymore you probably can only get her in person or if you send her via venue but even via venue she forwards that fan mail to the Kentucky address and she sends secretarial in other words other people signing on her behalf anyway so I just wanted to make that quick video I wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna start making more videos lately and I should be posting one in the next couple of days and have a really nice big haul that I want to share with you guys. But anyways, um, thank you for those of you who are subscribed. If you're not subscribed but you'd like to be, please do and join our big nerdy panda family. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. What did you guys think of the new Mockingjay trailer? What did you think of the stuff that I showed you today? I'd really like to know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.